Hey guys, what's up? Sam here, back with another video. Now I'm still on the road to finding that perfect ROM. I know it's been a while since I did a video on this particular series, but I still am on the Resurrection Remix ROM, and I wanna give my full review. It's been a few months now, so it's about that time. As usual, I'll be telling you all the stuff I liked about the ROM, some of the stuff I didn't like about the ROM, and some of the stuff I wish it had included. So without further ado guys, let's jump into today's video. Now one of the biggest things I love about this ROM is that it's chock full of features. Like when it comes to customization, this ROM is king. It's the goat of customization. Now people actually warn me about how crazy customization gets on this particular ROM and I was not ready. No, she, she wasn't ready. And when it comes to customization and features, this ROM really delivers and exceeds my expectations. And by that, what I mean is, let's take for example the recent menu. On stock Android, when you click the recent button, it brings up a bunch of windows with various apps that you have running, all right? But with Resurrection Remix, it says, all right, we will give you that stock Android recent menu, or if you want, you can try Omni Switch, or if you don't like that, you can try Slim Recents, or if you don't like that, it can try a grid type of recent. It actually gives you four types of recent style menus. Like, that's crazy. So that's definitely something I love about this ROM is that it gives you a ton of features, a ton of options. Now, one of my biggest customization features that I love about this ROM is that it offers one-handed mode. I mean, if you have small hands like me or you just have a really large phone, sometimes it's a pain to use two hands, sometimes you can't use it at the moment. Whatever the case might be, sometimes it's easier to just have that phone in one hand and navigate around but you can't really read certain corners, you can't bring down the notification shade. Now with this, it's really easy to enable a one-handed mode. You don't even have to go in any settings, quick panels or anything like that to turn it on. All you need to do is just on the navigation bar, swipe either left or right, and boom, it's in one-handed mode. And it doesn't just bring out that particular app that you're in, it brings on the whole UI, the whole phone goes into one-handed mode. Now, another thing I love about this ROM is that it supports the Substratum theme engine. Not all ROM does this, so when I find a ROM that has this included, I'm all on board. And for you guys that don't know, the Substratum theme engine is a way to customize your Android device. So if you like modding or theme in your phone to make it uniquely yours, then you're definitely gonna wanna check out the Substratum theme engine that's built into this ROM. Now let's move on to a few other features that I love about this ROM. One, being able to double tap the power button to enable the flashlight. Now this is kind of small, but I really love it because it's very practical. Now, when it comes to custom ROMs, I do love something that's very practical. I love practical features. I like the fluff, the pretty stuff, but it has to be very practical for me. That's why I love the one-handed thing so much, all right? So having that double pressing the power button to turn on the flashlight, is a definite win in my book. Now, another thing I love about this ROM is how deep it goes with color customization. And by that, what I mean is every little intricate part of this ROM and the UI, you can actually customize the color of it. So a while back, I had a red and black theme going on on my phone, and I pretty much decked out everything red and black. So I had a dark theme, and I changed all the colors, the fonts to red. So on my lock screen, I had the time and date in red. I had the lock icons, the shortcuts, everything was red. So it was really nice. So if you guys love to theme your device, you're gonna definitely love this ROM. Also guys, if you love to theme your device, then definitely check out my new series each and every Monday. It's called Theme Your Droid, where you can share your setups to everyone else on the channel, all right? Details for that is in the description box down below. Now another thing I love is that it gives timely updates and it gives us inside the ROM itself, like an OTA, all right? So you don't have to go online to look if there's new updates, it pushes it out instantly when you get it so if you're on the nightly weekly the official it doesn't really matter it pushes it out to you and you can download it straight from the phone and install it just like that you don't need a computer nothing like that just everything is done on the phone the next thing i love about this rom is that it has google now built in now google now is something i really love if you guys know me that's where i get my news feed from so having it built in i don't have to install a pixel launcher or anything like that to get my news feed it's just there on the rom i swipe right and i start scrolling I love when ROMs have this, so big thumbs up for Resurrection Remix for having that on their ROM. Now onto some of the stuff I didn't like about this ROM. Number one is the biggest one of all, and that is it has some charging issues. Now I have the Nexus 6P and this charges rapidly. So if you're using the original charger or a USB-C to C charger, you're gonna see charging rapidly on your phone and it will charge rapidly, all right? And if you're using this USB-C to A cable, it just charges regularly. 
Now, ever since I installed this ROM on this device, it says charging slowly. Like, it actually says charging slowly. And guys, believe me, it does charge slowly. Like, once it took me two hours to get to about 50%. Now it doesn't always take that long but it does sometimes and that's something I just can't get on board with at all. Now some people are saying to try and flash a custom kernel to get rid of this problem. Now I did think about doing that but I opted not to do it instead because I wanted to give a full review on the ROM without any additional customizations or anything modded alright. But something even weirder is that sometimes it will say charging or even charging rapidly so there's definitely something going on with this rom i'm not sure if they have updated it as yet because i'm not on the latest one i did update it a few times after that i still saying the same thing so guys if you haven't fixed that then definitely you need to address that issue i'm pretty sure it's not everyone on this rom that has this issue maybe not even every nexus 6p owner but some people are affected as i saw in the forums all right so that's definitely something i did not like about that now the next thing I didn't like about this ROM is kind of similar to the first one as sometimes when my battery hits 15% normally you know you can just use the phone up until that very last 1% However, with this, sometimes it hit 15%. For example, yesterday I was at work, it was my brother's birthday, and I was taking some photos of him. Now, while doing that, it hit 15%, and I was taking some pictures, not too much, and it just shut right down. Like, sometimes I'll be 12%, 50%, and it just turns off. I could be watching a video on Snapchat, it just shuts off, just like that. Now, I don't have random reboots or anything like that, but it will just randomly shut off if the battery is too low. Now, one thing to note about this battery life, it does fluctuate at the beginning. The battery times I was getting was kind of meh. It was about two and a half hours of screen on time. And you guys know, that's how I calculate if a ROM has a good battery life by the screen on time. So in the beginning, I was getting like two to two and a half hours. Was really under three. I was a bit disappointed because normally on stock I'll get three to three and a half hours of screen on time, and after that it kind of went up. I was getting like four, four and a half for a couple days. I was getting that. I was like really impressed about the battery life. I'm not quite sure what I was doing because I was almost getting five hours of screen on time. I was really impressed, but it went back down. So it's right now it's about three to three and a half hours of screen on time. So it's not too disappointing right now, but it's not very impressive at all. Now, the final thing I want to mention about what I don't like about this ROM is that sometimes it does freeze a little bit, not too much, not very often, but it will freeze or apps will take a while to open up. I'm not sure if it's because of how heavy the ROM might be with all the customizations and features that's added to this. So I'm not sure, maybe that's something that you can address. But even though I love a ROM with great customizations and a big feature list, to me performance comes first. I never sacrifice performance for customizations. So when it comes to performance, I'll give this ROM a 8 out of 10. When it comes to the battery life, I'll give it a 7 out of 10. And when it comes to customization, all 10. Now when it comes to recommendations or things I wish this ROM did have, I don't really have much to say. The only thing I could say is that I really wish that they addressed the whole charging slash battery issue. All right, I'm not sure if they have. If they have, let me know in the comment sections down below. If I'm wrong, let me know, all right? That's the only thing I do really wish that they address in this particular ROM. So if you're looking for a ROM with great customization and good performance, then definitely check out Resurrection Remix, all right? I've been on it for so long, guys, so that says something, all right? So that's enough for me in this video, guys. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you like this video, let me know by smashing the thumbs up button down below, all right? And if you want to see more content like this, then definitely click that subscribe button. As always, guys, you've been awesome. My name is Duck Coin, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Zine.